TV KPM. Wow! 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 I know that one is a rocket, but hmm, this one looks like a satellite. But what about the others? Well, hmm, I'm not really sure. Well, I'll just wait the teacher to come in so that I'll know what is this. Watching Terasa Didi TV KPM. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. And with that being said, don't forget to always comply to the SOP set by the government by wearing face masks whenever you have to go out. If not, just stay at home and maintain a physical distance of at least one meter or more. Always wash your hands using water and soap and use hand sanitizer when needed. Well, I really thought that we are in a science class, but I guess not. We are in English class with Mr. Nabil. Hello, Hi. everyone. How are you, Nisa? Hi, it's good to see you again. Yes, it's so wonderful to see you today as well. Yes, I'm so excited. But yeah, is this like science class? Because we see all these things and it feels like we are going all the way to the galaxy. Yes, uh, absolutely. Because uh, mm. I think throughout this process of mm. making this uh, special slot, okay. uh, I learned a lot of things as well. Wow. And I can't... Uh, really, really wait to uh, introduce to you certain mm -hmm. amazing, amazing things about the galaxy. Yes. As well as uh, something very interesting to the students out there to learn new things using our uh, subject today, which yes. is English. Okay. All right. And today's title is Tag World Mars Rovers. Okay. Yes. Are we oh, going right. to so Mars? So basically, we mm. are going to talk about okay, High Tag World, which is the unit. Uh, in the uh, Form 3 textbook, mm -hmm. and the topic is Mars Rovers. But before that, Mr. Nabil, it seems that I'm... Where's my friends? Where are the crews? Oh, yeah. yeah. So basically, we need to introduce the crew on board. Hello, crews. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Hi. Wow, wow. You look so amazing. Everybody is so energetic. But before that, let's uh, sanitize our hands first. And oh, yeah. to keep our physical distance, you have yours. I have mine oh, here. Oh, right. It's very important for us yes. to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have and to then, always take a, a special precaution yes. every day to avoid from the COVID-19. Yes. You know, we always say that this is the new norm, but I don't think it's a new norm. This is the normal <laughs> thing that we <laughs> it's are getting doing. getting to be the, no yes. uh, the norm of our life right now. Yeah, so let's introduce, uh, let our friends to introduce themselves. We will start with Adib Zafran. Introduce yourself, please. All right, Adib. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. My name is Adib Zafran Ben Azwan, and I'm from SMK Taman Daya 2, Johor Bahru. Thank you, yeah. Adib. Wonderful. All right, okay, so next. next, we have Hadri. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name is Hadri Akimi Ben Nazaruddin. You can call me Hadri. And I'm from SMK Taman Daya 2 from Thank Johor you. Bahru. Thank you, Hadri. All, All right, Johor Bahru. SMK Taman Daya 2. Okay, next, Nakib, kindly introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Naki Aiman bin Muhammad Nazri. I'm from SMK Taman Daya 2, Johor Bahru. Great! Thank you, All thank right. you. Alright, wonderful. Wow, so we have three heroes yes. from SMK Taman, Taman Daya, Daya 2, Johor Bahru. So now, it seems that we have students from Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi Tengku Ampuan Rahimah Selangor. Mm -hmm. So, I can't wait to see who are they. Okay, Nisa. Okay, uh, Sharafana, can you introduce yourself? Hello guys, Hi. my name is Sharafana Wahida binti Syamsul Kamal and I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi, Tengku Apa Rahima, Pantin Selangor. Thank you. Ooh, okay, next, Shaza, it's your turn. Hi guys, Hi. my name is Nik Shaza Syaukina binti Yus Faisal and I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi, Tengku Ampuan Rahimah, Banting Selangor. Thank you. Yay. Okay, last but not least. Last but not least. Her uh, name sounds very similar to mine. Okay. So, Anissa, introduce yourself, please. 
Hi everyone, Hi. my name is Nur Anissa Awati Binti Rosli and I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi Tengku Ampuan Rahimah Banting from Selangor. Oh, yay. 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 So I hope everybody students, Yes, right? I hope everybody Are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, give me double thumbs up Double thumbs up if you are ready yay. everyone yay. 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 Oh, I can feel the energy I can feel the energy okay. But before that, but before that yes. Mr. Nabe, okay. we have a special video to share with you guys Let's watch together Did you know space exploration is crucial to us? For me, space exploration is very vital to us because we can gain new knowledge from other side of the world. Space exploration allows us to prove and disprove scientific theories developed by humans on the Earth. For instance, studying the solar system has brought us to see into the phenomena of gravity and atmosphere. We also can appreciate our God's creation. I think that space exploration is very crucial because it helps to address fundamental questions about our universe and the history of our solar system. Furthermore, we expand technologies, create new industries, and help to foster a peaceful connection with the other nation. As a Malaysian, I am so proud that we have Dr. Sheikh Muzaffar as our role model in this field. I believe that exploring this space is very astounding. for our class. So I would like to ask you, Mr. Nabil, what are we going to learn today? All right. First hmm. of all, we need to use the rocket in order for us to go to the outer space. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I think every one of you knows mm -hmm. that we have rockets uh, mm -hmm. in order for us to go to outer space, yes. right? But we need to learn about other things as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. But before that, I would like to know uh, what is your opinion or what do you think when it comes to space explorations. So students, are you ready everyone? We are going yeah. to do the space yeah. exploration yeah. together. Uh, but before we proceed, can uh, I would like to suggest to you mm -hmm. to open all your mics so that we can have a direct feedbacks uh, from all of you after every segment. All right, okay. So, okay. talking about space explorations, I need two words from each and every one of you. Okay. So, who would like to volunteer? Put up your hand. Who wants to go first? Me, me, oh, 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 me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, Adip. Okay, Adip, okay. I see you, I see you. Yes, yes, yes. I love the energy. Okay. Keep it up, yeah? All right, okay. So, Adip, what are the two words that you like to suggest to us? Planet and also stars. Stars? Planet. Planets, am I right? Mm, planets? Yes. Planets. Yes. Oh, right. Of course, when we talk about yes. the galaxy, mm -hmm. we are talking about planets and also the stars. Stars. All oh, right. Yes. Okay, yes, wonderful. All oh, right. Okay, so, good job. Thank you, Adip. Okay, next. Who Ooh. wants to go next? Who wants All right, to go who next? wants to go next? Okay, 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 me, me, me. Anissa, it's your turn. Okay, You're Anissa, <laughs> what is? All right. Uh, moon and astronaut. Oh, moon? definitely moon. Yes. An astronaut. astronaut. Wow, it's a very good mm -hmm. uh, words uh, in order for us to represent space exploration. Astronauts, definitely. Yes. All right, so we wait for the person to help us with that. Okay. All right, so, okay, moon, moon. and also... Astronaut. Oh, okay, so next exciting. person, please. Next person? Me. Okay, okay, Me. okay. Sharafana. Sharafana Wahida. Okay. What do you have? Okay, first is solar system. Mm -hmm. Solar system. And, uh, second is universe. Universe! Ooh. She think big. Yes, Definitely. which is very, very great. It's mm -hmm. not Miss Universe, am I right? <laughs> it's the universe. <laughs> it's the universe. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Okay, thank you very much, Solar System and the universe. Okay, mm. next person. Okay, we have six words. Me, me, okay, me, Hadri. me. Hadri. Hadri, what do you All have? All right, Hadri. Hadri. Okay, so what are the two words, Hadri? Mm -hmm. I think it is uh, spaceship and spaceship? meteor. Spaceship. Very, very good. Mm. It's spaceship and meteor. Meteor. Wow. Mm. All right. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, thank we have you. spaceship and meteor. Okay, I, other, than, other really, than the word spaceship, we can yeah. also use the word spacecraft. Spacecraft. Uh, yes. Okay, ah. I believe Hadri must be watching a lot of movies, action movies. Correct. Regarding to spacecraft or I think spaceships. so. Which is very, very good. Yes. Okay, so next person. Okay, Please next put up your hand. Person. 
Okay, oh, Nakib. Nakib. Two words, Nakib. Two words, Nakib from you. The first one is a space suit and the second one is robot. Robot? Oh, space suit space and suit. robots. Yes, ah. we need to have a space suit to go yeah, to. We need to go, yeah, yeah, we need to go to the... I mean, we hmm. need to have the space suit in order for us to go to the galaxy hmm. because we do not have the oxygen in the galaxy, yes. right? Okay. In the universe. So... Uh, it's spacesuit and robots, robots and spacesuits. All oh, right, wonderful, good job, Naki. Okay. Yeah. Who's right. the last person? Okay, Ooh. next person. Me. Okay, Me. Shaza. What do you Shaza. have? Shaza. All right. Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars. Oh, mm. Venus and Mars. What a very good. <laughs> Uh, answers Nabil. from all of you. Yes, what do you Mr. want to say about Nabil, that? Venus and Mars is like men and women. <laughs> Correct. It's very wonderful for you to say that. It's very interesting. Good job. So we have Mars as well as Venus. Venus. Good job, Yay! everyone. Yay! So when we, Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up for every one of you. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about uh, space explorations, mm -hmm. there are plenty more that we can think about. But I do agree with all of you. Good job. You, Good job, are, you have given all these amazing words representing, I think, quite not just common, yes. but maybe I would say give a very clear idea of space exploration. Yes. Ah. And how about our friends at home? Uh, I hope you guys have some words in your mind too to share with us, and maybe you can jot it down. But cool. we are we'll be taking a break. Oh, uh, well, before a that, okay. I just want to ask you, girls mm. and boys, it's very wonderful to, for you to have all these ideas. Okay. Uh, so, what are the four sources that you can get? Can you mm. give me a very fast one? Yes. Can you share with television, television. Oh, television. internet, uh -huh. television, internet, radio. 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 radio, 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 radio. All right. Let's okay. take. It. Okay, television. So internet. I put down here internet, mm -hmm. books, and. Radio. Radio. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. So our friends at home can use these sources to find more words regarding our topic today. Right. So let's take a break for a moment. I'll okay. see you guys after this on Teras Bili TV KPM. KPM Dede TV KPM Interas at Didik TV KPM with Mr. Nabil and my friends from Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi Tengku Ampuan Rahimah Banting and SMK Taman Daya to Johor. So let's proceed with our class. It's very exciting to have wow. this thing in front of us. Yes, actually we have a lots of things to mm. show every one of you out there. Okay. Uh, but we would like to focus on this one first, which okay. is the Lunar Surface Probe. Mm. Ah, when we are talking about uh, space exploration, so we are talking about Lunar Surface Probe for this Huh. All right, so Luna 9, the first spacecraft to soft land on the moon. Ah, mm -hmm. It was launched by the Soviet Union January 31st, 1966 mm -hmm. and returned photographs of the lunar surface for three days. Which means when they landed in the moon, mm -hmm. on the moon, or they landed uh, on any surfaces out there, mm -hmm. so they uh, gave the photograph mm -hmm. right after the three days of the ah. the thing uh, on that particular surface. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's very important for us to know about this because mm -hmm. we can learn a lot of things as well. Yes. Sometimes when we talk about outer space, we talk about rockets only, but yes. now we are going to learn more about that. And we are going to learn more vocabulary throughout these activities in this lot today. Yes, Mr. Right. Nabil, I believe many of us always consider lunar surface probe right. as a robot, but it is not. 
uh, uh, I, I would really. say it's old. Uh, it's a robot, mm -hmm. and basically the idea is machine. Mm. All right, and robot and machine technology actually it comes together. Yes. it's just different terminologies, mm -hmm. uh, but basically gives you a very clear idea of its connection. Wow. Okay. Oh wow. yeah. Last but not least, mm -hmm. the word Luna. Basically, it's mostly related to the moon. Yes. So if you watch any uh, thing regarding the moon exploration, mm -hmm. so definitely they will use the lunar probe. Yes. Ah. To, to gather pictures of the surface and yes. send back to to the station on Earth. Correct. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ah, okay, so okay. without further ado, mm -hmm. ah, we go, okay, just now we talk about the moon. Mm -hmm. Ah, but today I would like to focus on something very interesting, which is the Mars. The Mars. Ah. Are we going okay, to okay, the okay, Mars okay. now? Okay, 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 okay. All right, mm -hmm. Mars. Okay. Ah, listen to it, Mars rovers. Eh, so we need to do mm. uh, a listening activity. Listening. Ah, so why not we show the students mm -hmm. a special video regarding the Mars rovers. So if you do not know what is Mars rovers, mm -hmm. ah, why not we take a look and more about it. And we are going to have one activity after the listening process. Okay? Yes. Uh, okay. Are you ready everyone? Are you ready? Yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah, wonderful! Okay. All right. oh, they are all so energetic, we can see that, but our friends at home, please listen carefully to this video that we are going Correct. to watch so that we can gather information from that video. So are we ready to watch the video, Mr. Nabil? Yes, I can't wait actually. I would okay. love to know about Mars. Okay, let's watch together. All right. Labeled the red planet for its fiery color, Mars has so far been too far away and dangerous for humans to explore. The alternative has been to build robots to aid scientists in their research. In 2004, two robot explorers, or rovers, called Spirit and Opportunity were sent to Mars. Their mission was to find signs of water. Spirit landed first, after a seven-month trip. It was to explore an area scientists believed was once a lake. Opportunity landed three weeks later in another place with different rocks. These rovers can drive over rough ground and operate cameras and scientific instruments. They set out to work. Mars is important to scientists because it is close to Earth and similar in many ways. Mars has seasons with different kinds of weather. It also has a network of what looks like dried rivers and lakes. This has raised the question, was there once life on Mars? Most scientists hold a firm belief that all life needs water. To look for water, the robots carried equipment to measure the chemicals in rocks. As well as being equipped with solar power cells, the rovers also carried special cameras for scientists to record images of the planet's rocks. After only two months, scientists had found what they were looking for. Opportunity found chemicals and patterns in the rocks that showed the area was full of water a long time ago. Scientists don't know when this happened or how much water there was, but the surprising discovery changed their ideas about Mars. Now they believe that the weather on Mars was once warmer may be warm enough to once have forms of life. In the following months, Spirit moved on to an area that may once have been a volcano, whereas Opportunity went on to study rocks that may have formed underwater. Today, scientists still aren't sure if life ever existed on Mars. They need more information to decide. The discoveries of the two Mars rovers answered some old questions, but they also brought up many new ones. Whoa! Whoa. That's a Whoa. lot of 
of information about Mars. Correct. And it's so fascinating hmm. for us to watch it just now. Yes. I think not so many of us have been... I couldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very limited. But I mean, like, I we think, in Malaysia, we, do not, we have not been in space unless Dr... Shemuzafa, oh, okay. all right. So I can I can hear I can listen to some information that we can gather from the video, Mister Nabil. Correct. Hmm. That's why we watch the video and learn a lot of things from it as well. Okay. So in order for us to check it out, whether we our listening skill is good or not, mm -hmm. we are going to have this wonderful activity. Okay, I cannot wait. All right. Let's start. So basically, mm -hmm. uh, are you ready, everyone? Because ah. I need you yes. to prepare. Uh, two things. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, anything that you have in blue color. Blue color. And another one, uh, another items, of course, in red color. Mm. Okay. Originally, I wanted to, uh, uh, I wanted you to provide two cards, two okay. colored of cards. But then I, I'm thinking of why. Since you are at home, so mm. there are plenty more that you have out there. I mean, like in your house in that two colors. All right, in order for us to do that, uh, to do the activity, so these are the instructions. The first one, each student read one statement. So I'm going to give you a few statements. All right, so one of you will read one statement and then on the count, one, two, three, I want you to show the items that you have. It's, so the blue one will represent the two. True. True. The, uh, yes, correct. And the red one represents False. 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 Wonderful. Okay, so six statements will be read by you. Mm -hmm. All right. And the answer will be given at the end of every statement. Okay, Mr. Nabil, yes. I found myself this pair of pants, uh, marker pants, which is the blue one and the red one. So, yeah. true or false. So, how about you guys? How Can about you guys? Show? Can you show us yes. all your items? Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Hey, wow. <laughs> Wonderful. That's very interesting. The angry one. <laughs> Okay, we'll the angry over there. you can prepare your blue and red item too and let's answer together. Yeah. Okay, let's start. All right, I can't wait. All right, so the first one, who wants to... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, before that, before that, uh, just now, I went to the market. I believe I went to the market near Hogwarts and I, it seems <laughs> that I got myself some magical eggs because it has numbers on it. So what are we going to do with this eggs? Okay, hmm. so are we going to use the eggs, everyone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Nisa will mm. will take okay. out one egg, mm -hmm. and then you are going to read the statement. Okay. okay. Are you ready, everyone? Okay, Nisa. Ready? So, which number? Yes. Yes. Okay. The first egg we have. Oh, number two. Number two. It's me. Okay. Oh, wonderful. All right. So, mm. uh, Shaza, please read uh, the first statement. Mars has so far been too far away and dangerous for humans to explore. Hmm. Mm. Is it true? Is or it true false? or false? So are you so, ready, everyone? One, two, two three. True. 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 Wow. wow. True. Okay, okay Nisa. Are okay, you cheating? No. No, no. <laughs> true. True, is it? Yes. Okay, let's check the answer. Okay, so the, the answer. answer is. True. True! Of course, Mars, yes, correct. Mars has so far been too far away and dangerous for humans to explore. That's why we have the two Mars rovers to help the human to get to know more about Mars. Yes. Okay, okay. for the next statement. Nisa, so next what is the number? Next statement, person number five. Number five. Hey. Hadri. Okay, Hadri. Wonderful. All right. Okay, please hmm. read the statement. Spirit landed first after a 70-month trip. Hmm. Hmm. Spirit landed first after a 70-month trip. Okay, are you ready, everyone? So, true or false? True or false? One, two, three. False. False. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Wow. All we are right. Doing great. We are doing great, my friends. Okay, you are doing great too, Nisa. Okay. Right. Okay, let's take a look at the answer. And the answer mm. is... Oh, yes. Wonderful. Okay, maybe hardly of anybody. Can you tell me? So, mm. what is the part where which is you find it uh, if incorrect? Mm. Okay, so which one? Seventy. Seventy. So, uh, what it should be? 
Seven. Seven. Seven months, three. Very good. So you have listened to the video clearly. Very good. Okay. okay. Awatif, right? Okay. So yes. next statement. Next. So this uh, with number three. Number three. Okay. Who is number three? Okay. okay. Why you da? Oh. Right. Okay. Please read number three. Mm -hmm. uh, to look for water, the robot carry equipment. Uh, to measure the water in the box. Hmm. Okay, to look for water, the robots carried equipment to measure the water in the rocks. So I wonder whether it's true or false, Nisa. Oh, it's so confusing. Okay, so but are you ready? I believe I listened to the video carefully. So I'm ready with my answer, <laughs> my friends. All right. Okay, okay, so the answer. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see blue oh, over there. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's okay, okay Adi. Okay. okay. Do not change your answer. Okay. okay. Let's check the answer. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So, anybody can help Adi. So, which one uh, in the statement here is wrong? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, Shaza. To measure the water is false. Okay, mm. so what it should be? To measure the chemicals. Oh, chemicals. it's not the water, but the chemicals. 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 Very wonderful. Thank you, Shaza. Yeah, I, I think I understand with Adit. Maybe because mm. we listen a lot of things about chemicals yeah. as well as the water. Mm -hmm. Alright, so maybe it's a little bit confusing. I do understand that. Sometimes mm -hmm. we we have some yes. uh, misunderstanding. But it's okay. You it's have done okay. a very good job so far, Adi. Okay. okay. G give a big clap to Adi Yay. as well. All right. Yay. Okay. So next statement. Statement okay. number four. Next person will be number six. Who's number six? Who's number six? Mm -hmm. Number six. Hello. Number six. <laughs> Anissa, what it's are you okay, doing Amati. here? Uh, Anissa, Amati. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you are number. Uh, you are going to read statement number four. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Please read the statement. The robots also carry special cameras for scientists to record images of the planet's rocks. All okay. right. Okay. It's, um. All right. So the rovers also carry special cameras for scientists to record images of the planet's rocks. Wow, mm. all right. It's very interesting, right? Yes. And we talk about certain things uh, before this. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of things that the human in the Earth uh, getting more information within one or uh, two to three days. Yes. Right. Very okay. fast. The technology so, nowadays. Do, okay. Do you think that this statement is mm. correct or wrong? Okay. Are you ready, everyone? Okay. One. Ready? Yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> one. Two. Three. True. True. Yay. Oh, all right. Good job. Yay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take a look at the answer whether it's correct or wrong. True. Yay. Definitely. Yay. Yay. Okay. We have another two statements. Okay. okay. Uh, for statement number five. What statement is... number five. Who is number four? You're number four. Who is number four? One? Okay, okay Naki. Naki. All right, Naki. So please read the statement number five. Mm -hmm. Number five, spirit moved to an area that had been a volcano. Oh, mm -hmm. volcano eh? on eh? Mars? Are you sure ah. that there is a volcano mm -hmm. on Mars? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I, I heard that Mars have a very similar, you know, land and, and rocks and, and water like in Earth. Who knows? But uh -huh. Uh -huh. this is according to the video that we watched just now. Yes, mm. and if you listen carefully, you might get the answer correctly. Mm. So, let's take a look. What are your answers? All right, are you ready? Okay, our friends at home ready? Okay, one, yes. two, three. true that we have volcano in mm. uh, on uh, Mars so let's, let's take a look at the answer whether it's true or false you might get the wrong answers guys oh, no. uh -huh, uh -huh. let's see let's see the answer now okay let's take a look at the answer true <laughs> so we have volcanoes yeah and then now we know that we have volcanoes and a lot of something quite similar with the earth so i right? i definitely will google about mars after this class correct why not we get more information okay last but not least last but not number least. six 
statement number six and student, student number, number one. one. Okay, student number one. Who is Me. student number one? Oh, oh okay. Adi. Very lovely. Adi. <laughs> okay, Adi. So, please read statement number six. Mm -hmm. The discoveries of the two Mars rovers answered some old questions, but they also brought up many new ones. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a lot of a rovers can do. Yeah, mm. and uh, we really want to know whether it's true or false, right? Okay, friends, what are the answers? So, what are Ready? the answers? One, two, two three. three! True! true. 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 <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Whether it's true or false, mm -hmm. the discoveries of the two Mars rovers answered some old questions, but they also brought up many new ones. And the answer is... Please, please, please. True! Yay! Yay! Oh, this is so much fun. Ooh. I hope our friends at home are getting the right answers too. And, well, I think I need to drink because I'm getting exhausted, you know? Yeah, from these activities, because we learned a lot. We have been very far yes. away on the planet Mars. Yes, I think we have way already. <laughs> we have way towards Mars already. And we are going to take a break. I'll see you guys after this on Teras Didik TV, KPM. Pew. KPM Dede TV KPM Welcome back to Teras at Didik TV KPM. So we are going to proceed with our class. This is very exciting. So I had my drink and let's proceed, everybody. All right. So basically, we have something in, uh, uh, very interesting mm -hmm. to show everyone of, uh, of you out there, which is the unmanned planetary probe. Ah, so we talk about the first probe just now, the lunar probe, mm -hmm. and then we have the planetary probe. So what are the difference? What do mm. you think, Misa? Hmm, well, that one surely landed on some surface. I do not think this um, probe land on any surface. All right, mm. you are very good. Oh. Okay, wild guess, but it's definitely correct. Mm -hmm. So basically, unmanned planetary probe, it's somewhere around the planet, mm -hmm. but at the same time, oh. it is unmanned, which means it's, it's, there's no person, no there's person? no pilot mm -hmm. in the uh, probe. Oh. Ah. So oh. another word of probe is also spacecraft. Ah. Ah. So now we know that we don't really have one types of things in mm. order for us to go to the outer space, mm. but we have other types of spacecraft as well. Yes, ah. this means that this is controlled remotely. Yes, from okay, Earth. let's uh, us read together okay. about this. A space probe is an unpiloted, mm. ah, so there's no pilot. Unmanned, which is no man, mm -hmm. all right. Unmanned device sent to explore space and gather scientific information. A probe may operate far out in space or it may orbit or land on a planet or a moon. So it may make a one-way journey or it may bring samples and data back to Earth. So most probes transmit data from space by radio. So they use radio in order for them to get information from out of space. Yeah. <laughs> we learned lots of things from outer space today, yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so why not we do a reading activity as well? Uh -huh. Let's do this. All right. So everybody ready for Are some ready, reading everyone? activities? Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Okay. So be before we talk about that while waiting for the slideshows to come out, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, if you realize we have two robots over there, can you? Okay, guys. 
uh, six of you, can you tell me what are the name of the two robots that have been landed in Mars? Huh? According to the previous video. I yeah. know the answer, but I want to know yours. Uh huh. What is your Period answer? and opportunity. Period and opportunity. Period and opportunity. Period and opportunity. Correct. Yeah. Very good. Ah, meaning you are doing it quite well. All right. So we are going to have read it, Mars Rovers. So the instructions are. First, each student will read one or two sentences. Okay. Uh, it depends on the blank. All right. So, number two, student will fill in a blank with an answer from the list. So, mm -hmm. there are eight words all together. Okay. So, choose the correct answer. Number three, the correct answer will be given after each blank is answered. All okay. right. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Our friends at home, you can try with us as well. All right, so okay. Let's... So, who wants... Okay, I would like to get a volunteer from you. I think it's good for us to have that. Yeah. All right, so who wants to volunteer for the first sentence? First sentence. Me. Okay, okay Shaza. Great. Okay, Shaza. So, what... what? Uh, can you read it clearly and then give the correct answer? Okay, Shaza. The planet Mars is very interesting to scientists because it is the closest and the most similar planet to Earth. Mm -hmm. For example, Mars has seasons with different weather, whereas other planets have the same temperatures all year round. Okay, wow. thank you, Shaza. All hmm. right, Shaza. So she, she filled the blank with, with the whereas. Word, whereas. Okay, okay, I forgot to tell mm -hmm. everyone out there. So we have eight words alternative. Mm -hmm. Find existed, existed operate patterns, patterns. Rav, science, science and, and whereas. whereas. And Shaza used uh, whereas. whereas for the first answer. Okay, mm. let's take a look whether it's correct or wrong. And the answer is correct. correct. Shaza, good job. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very interesting for us to know about this. Mm -hmm. uh, the scientists, we got the closest and the most similar, similar planet, planet to Earth. Earth. Oh, and they have seasons with different weather oh it's my. approximately like like malaysia mm. or maybe some other countries i do not know whether they have four seasons oh my mr nabi is there any possibilities for us to live in mars <gasps> maybe we do not know now we have very unusual way of life because of the COVID-19 but next like another but, 10 years 20 years yeah. after this we don't know <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for the scientists to tell us <laughs> all right okay. okay okay who wants to go next for the next, next uh, sentence raise your hand all right Hadri okay, wonderful Hadri. okay Hadri please read it clearly and give the answers okay did life exist on Mars mm -hmm. okay to find out scientists need to know if Mars and we had water. Okay, it's very interesting. So there are two sentences over there. Did life exist on Mars? To find out, scientists, scientists need, need to, to know, know if Mars ever had water. So your answer is fine. Fine. Uh, and the okay is over there. Mm -hmm. And the answer, whether the answer is correct, let's take a look together. Yay! Yay! The answer is fine. Yeah, correct. to find out. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting that we know that they have, we have. They have water mm -hmm. in Mars. All right. Okay, who wants to go next? Who wants to continue Me. the answer? All right. Okay, Sharafana. Wahida, Sharafana, Wahida. Okay, please read it clearly. Okay. In 2004, two oh. robots explored, all robots called Spirit and Opportunity, were sent to Mars to look for signs of water. Mm. Signs, signs of water. How to spell signs? S-I-G-N-S. All right. Yeah, it's okay. wonderful. No, I just want to let the viewers out there mm -hmm. to know clearly because it sounds similar like S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Yes. Okay. The choice is science over here and you answer science. Okay. In 2004, two robot explorers or oh, rovers. rovers called Spirit and Opportunity uh, were sent to Mars to look for... Signs. Signs of, of water. water. All right. If you hmm. listen to the video clearly, maybe you know the answer. So let's take a look whether your answer is correct or wrong. Okay. The answer is signs. Wow. Yay. Very wonderful. Yay. Hey, Congrats. fantastic, Congrats. fantastic job, girl. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, next uh, sentences or statements. Okay. So who wants to go next for number four? Who wants to go next? Me. Okay, okay Naki. Naki. All right. Your okay. Turn. 
please read uh, clearly. Okay. These robots can drive over rocks and all kinds of rough ground. Aha! Uh -huh. These robots can drive over rocks and all kinds of rough ground. Oh, okay. It's very interesting because it's robot. Normally, it will stumble yes. uh, and mm -hmm. whatnot. But it says here rough ground. So is it correct or wrong? Okay, mm. let's take a look at the answer. Let's and the answer look. is rough ground. Yay. Good job, Nadine. Yay. Yay. Yeah. All right. Okay, who wants to go next? Well, uh -huh. So try to me. answer. Me. Okay. Ah, Adit. Adit. Ah. Okay, Adit, please read it clearly. They can also operate cameras and send photos back to the air. They can also operate cameras. Are you sure the answer is operate, Adi? Mm. Of course. Oh. <laughs> of he is course. very sure. Yeah, you so are let's very take a look. Sure. Okay, let's answer. take a look whether it's correct or wrong. Mm. Okay, it could be an operation like mm. the person or the surgeon do in the hospital, right? Yes. So mm. is it correct or wrong? So let's take a look at the answer. They can also operate Yay. cameras and send photos back to a uh, good job. Good yeah, job, I think I love your confidence. Mm. <laughs> Give another big clap for Adi. Why not? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Adi, it's, it's so outstanding yes. today. I believe he listened very carefully okay. to the video just yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much. All right, so let's take a look at the, the, the other statement or sentences. Okay. okay, so who wants to go next for number six? Number six. Can I try, Mr. Okay, oh, Anissa. Definitely. All right, okay. So, okay, please read it clearly. First, the two robbers found chemicals and patterns in the rocks that were probably made by water. Ah, Ooh. Oh, patterns. patterns. Okay, it's quite unusual. First, the two robbers found chemicals and Patterns, patterns in the rocks that were probably made by water. Oh, I do understand now. Oh, maybe because of the water mm -hmm. uh, made uh, what we call the surface of the rocks uh, changes. Yes. Uh -huh. Over All time, right. you know, okay. water can really um, uh, create create some yeah, patterns, uh, patterns on, and, on, on the rocks. Yes. Okay, let's take mm. a look whether your answer is correct or wrong and I would guess it's correct or wrong as well. Patterns. A hey, good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. Number seven. Okay. Since we have only six students. Okay. Why not? Ah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> we have Nisa to try it out. Ah. Okay. I tried to hide, but okay. 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 Now only number seven. All okay. right. Okay. Only number seven. All right. Okay. Then they moved to. Uh huh. Um. Uh huh. Wait. <laughs> okay, it can be a or an okay. area and, and found, found other rocks. Okay. Other rocks which may. I have... know the answer. I know the answer. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> so what is the answer, Nisa? Then they moved to uh, an alternative area and found other rocks which may have been created by water. Okay, the answer so... sounds very promising. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. I am very confident, just like Adit. Okay, I'm good, good. Sure. All right, I love the confidence. <laughs> okay, then they moved to an alternative Yay! area and found Yay! other rocks. Yay! Clap for me. <laughs> clap. Okay, another big clap special for Nisa. Thank ah. you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, last but not least, I need another special volunteer. Ha. Ah, mm -hmm. For the last statement. Okay. Oh, Adit one. Okay, it's okay. Ah, since Adit is very pumped up today. Okay, Adit. Adit. The last que uh, question mm -hmm. or last statement. All right, go. Now, scientists think there was probably water on the planet long ago. Okay. They still don't know if life ever existed on Mars, mm -hmm. but they receive a lot of important information that will help them in the future. Ah. Okay. Actually, it's not fair because... Uh, all yeah, it, it's the only <laughs> word that is left. the only word, but I love the fact that you take this opportunity to do the exercise or the questions. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, mm. uh, voluntarily. All okay, right, so let's take a look. now scientists think there was probably water on the planet long, long ago. ago. They still don't know if life ever 
existed, existed on definitely Mars. on Mars, but they received a lots of important information that will help them in, in the, the future. future. Oh, yes, okay. this a good job, everyone. Good Give job, a everybody. Very good clap to everybody. And good yes. job to our friends at home who were try, uh, who were trying with us together to yes. answer this question. So I'll be seeing you guys after this after break. Don't go anywhere. Still watching Terasa Didi TV KPM. KPM Dede TV KPM Welcome back to Teras, everybody. Well, I have a very interesting question, Mr. Nabil. Yes. I know that one uh -huh. was used to send, you know, the astronauts to the space. But okay, what about rocket? this one? Right ah, in front of me. Hmm. So we have the planetary, uh, we have Luna, the surface yes. uh, probe. Ah, when we talk about the surface, so mm. the surface probe. So this planetary uh, probe, but it's yes. unmanned. Unmanned. All right, mm -hmm. uh, but what is about this one? Mm. So this one basically is the International Space Station, Station. or ISS. ISS. It's a mm. multi-nation construction project that is the largest single structure humans ever put into space. Mm -hmm. So its main construction was completed between 1998 and 2011. So it's quite recent, basically. Mm -hmm. Although the station continually evolves the, uh, to include new missions and experiments, it has been continuously occupied since November 2, 2000. Okay. As of January 2018, 230 individuals, oh, out of so many people, mm. Billions of people around the world. We only have 230 individuals from 18, 18 countries. countries. Oh, it's quite low number mm. of countries. Uh, have visited the International Space Station. Mr. Nabi, Mr. Nabi. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Is, is, is Malaysia on the list to be mm. on the ISS? What do you think, guys? Mm. Do you think that Malaysia has been in the International Space Station? America, what do you think, Nisa? Oh, US, US, Russia, Russia. Maybe Okay, China. so how about Malaysia, guys? Mm. What do you think, everyone? Do you think that Malaysia is on the list as well? Yeah. yeah. Why do you think so? Ah, there must be a reason about that. Who went there? Who went there? Mm. Who is the Malaysian who went there in the International Space Station? Do you know? Big confidence, our friend Dato Dr. Sheikh Muzaffar Shukur, our very <laughs> own Dr. Sheikh Astro Muzaffar. astronaut of our Malaysia. Our first Malaysian mm -hmm. astronaut. Yes. It's very interesting, right? Okay, so now what we are going to do, so basically we want you, <laughs> uh, I would like to throw the hot question to every one of you. Wow. Okay, so speak it, hot time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm, I would like to choose randomly. Okay. Why not we call, because we have... Who's the lucky person? Huh? Who's the lucky Who is person? the lucky person? But mm -hmm. before this, we have a very uh, astounding Adib okay. from SMK Taman Daya 2. Okay. So why not we start from student, the girls. Ah, ah, the girls from right. Sekolah So Agama why not Menengah. we choose the most vibrant colour uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in this bunch? All well, right. I can see purple. You can see purple. I can see purple. All right. So Who's why wearing not purple? we have <laughs> Sharafana Wahida. Mm. All right. So Sharafana Wahida. So please tell me, mm. are you interested in space exploration? Why and why not? I don't think so, Mr. Nabin. Why? Okay. Why? Why is it? It is because it is very risky and I don't want to risk my life. 
Oh. She doesn't want to reason life. So, so space exploration is not for her, but it's okay. it's okay. Very good answer. Whatever answer that you give, you need to give a very clear reason. And mm. good job, Wahida. Okay, Thank Wahida, you. choose one friend for the next uh, hot uh, question. Choose uh -huh. a friend. Who's your lucky friend? Shaza. 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 Okay. <laughs> Shaza. Uh, okay, Shaza, do you think that space exploration is important? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that space exploration is important. Okay. Because it will help us improving our life in terms of technologies and lifestyle. Oh, wow. a wonderful answer. Good yeah, job, good Shaza. Job. Yes, definitely. When we learn about the outer space, mm -hmm. we are going to improve a lot of technologies in order for us to get a lot of information. Yes. Right. Oh, okay, okay, Shaza. Ah, choose why not friend. you choose another friend? Ah, Shaza is mm. thinking right now. Mm. Okay. Naki. 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 <laughs> ha, Naki. You are very uh -huh. lucky today, Naki. Ah, you are very lucky today. So, Naki, mm. last question. What has mankind gained from space exploration? Oh, it's quite tough. Mm. Ah, it's quite challenging, these questions. But why not, uh, Naki, give your answer. What has mm. mankind gained from space exploration? Okay, you go. You can try. Okay. Space, my answer is, uh, space exploration led mankind to invent many technological and scientific advances because they are getting many intel on the unknown by uh, by working in space. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. All right. So basically, uh, when we uh, do things out mm -hmm. of space, mm -hmm. so mankind gained a lots of information, mm -hmm. improved technology in order to gain a lots of things, mm -hmm. a lots of information. That's why maybe, yes. ah, not maybe. Mm -hmm. I think definitely it's one of the reasons all these are out there out of space. Yes. Hey, good job, everyone. Good job, everybody. Game, we are going to win. A very good luck to everyone. We are having so much fun learning about the space, the Mars, the spacecraft, but we are at the end of our class already. Okay, but Mr. before Nabil. that, mm -hmm. okay, we would like to know. So, what our favorite astronaut, not favorite uh -huh. astronaut, the first Malaysian astronaut, mm -hmm. say about Mars exploration? So, before this, he mm -hmm. went out of space wow. and went to the ISS. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then, what uh, do he talk about that? Can I about, read it, Mr. Nabil? Okay, please, Nisa. Okay, I want to test my, my reading skills. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Being in space was for me simply unbelievable. Wow. I would do anything to go there again. Mm -hmm. If I'm given a chance to go to Mars, even on a one-way ticket, I would do it in a heartbeat. Oh, wow. Wow. I believe man will soon go to the red planet and even build a colony there. Dato Dr. Shemuda Pashuko, Malaysian, Malaysian astronaut. astronaut. So it's wow. very, very impressive for us to have this wonderful person talking mm -hmm. on behalf of Malaysians. And we learned a lot of things today. Yes. We learned about uh, how to listen carefully mm -hmm. on a narrative uh, text. Okay. All right. And several various uh, texts that we have shown to the to all of you today. Okay. And then last but not least, we also have... We listen and read. Ah, listening yes. and then the reading part. Yes. Ah, and it's combinations, basically, yes. if, you, if you realize. And then we have hot questions for you to try it out. Mm. Okay. So, Nisa, how... Uh, what do you think about today's uh, slot well, of I, English? I, I have very good time with you guys learning about, you know, about the, the things that we read today together, like the Mars, and we, we yeah. listen to the video. Oh, there's a lot of information that I didn't know before this, but now I know. Okay, <laughs> my friends, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing, everyone? Do you have fun? Yeah. Yay! 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 All right. Double thumbs up. So, Double thumbs up. Well, it's the end of our class. Thank you oh. so much, Mr. Nabe from SMK Taman Daya to Johor. And thank you so much, students from uh, Mr. Nabe School and also Sekolah Agama Menengah Tinggi Tengku Ampuan Rahimah Banting Selangor. Thank you so much, everybody who are watching us. After this, let's take a look on Mars information in the internet, and television, radio, books, and so many other so sources. So many other places, yeah. Okay, thank you so much once again. Thank I'll you so much, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Teras. Assalamualaikum. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Mars is a very unique planet in our solar system. It is an ideal place to search for the residue of microbial life, test new technologies, and lay the groundwork 
for human explorations down the road. The mission plans to investigate whether microbial life existed on the Mars billions of years ago and therefore that life is not unique to planet Earth. It is very interesting and please get to know more about our planet. As an educator, I really encourage all the students to learn new things, especially space exploration. Space exploration is very important in our lives, especially learning about other planets. There are thousands of discoveries that we can learn for our future reference and generations. Please get to know not just the world around you, but also the world out of space. Didik TV KPM